Hey guys, Atlas again. Uh, I'm going to continue with demoing some of the different weapons and team options. So, um, I know we're in Guild Wars, so we want to kind of stick with what works. Um, but people have been asking me about the Rosita's Assault Rifle. And it is a pretty great weapon. Um, but for standard my team or spy team, I'm still going to always want to go with the Decimator as my main weapon. Um, Rosita's rifle is great for controlling uh, a lot of enemies, but with Mercer, um, especially once you get him promoted decently, he kills everything so quickly so there's not a lot of need to control enemies. But the one team that I would recommend Rosita's rifle for is if um, you're going to use Princess instead of Sasha as your leader. Because um, in this case, Princess will only help with charge points um, if the enemy has a status effect, as you can see here from our leader trait. Status effect, you get a chance to get charge points. So we're gonna we're gonna give her the Rosita's assault rifle, but the rest of the team is just your standard spy team. I do want to put the burn back on Yumiko because you always want to have some burn. You know, just, it helps. It helps with Princess's charge, helps take down the heavies, etc. Okay, so we're gonna have the Rainbow Cat on Princess, which is great. Dog on Yumiko, and of course, always cookies on Mercer. All right, our enemies are an Exploding Walker and a Spike, probably two Spikes, and a Kill Walkers and Exit. All right, let's give it a try. Just remember, the most important difference between Princess and Sasha as leader is your teammates need uh, status in order to charge. See, Mercer, you didn't get no charge points off that guy because no status. Now he has status, so let's see if we can get some charge points. Yeah, see, they each got a charge point that time. So that's a good deal. This is a nice short mission. I like this one. Alright, so what to do here? Um, <coughs> apologize. Um... I think I'm gonna have Mercer. All right, I want to put Mercer in a place where he's he's gonna charge up, but I I still want him to get rid of this grenade guy because I don't want the grenade guy to wander and some of my guys pick him off in Overwatch, and I get exploded. That's never good. So since all those guys had status from the cripple weapon, they all got charged up easily. So that's good news. So I have this big group of dudes, so I'm actually going to take this opportunity to go ahead and just cookies the whole big batch of them. My spikes survived that. That's impressive. He's a pretty stout, spiky guy. I'm impressed. <laughs> we got this random dude on the other side of the fence. That's always funny. You still have to choose a gate opener. Normally I use Sasha, but she's not on the team, so we're going to use Princess here. 
Especially since Mercer has his charge attack. So this is an example of if you want to use Rosita's bow, this is the way to use it. Now this, if you're really comfortable with Spy and Smite, I mean, maybe practice this team in challenge, because it's really good, but you might mess yourself up if you're used to being able to charge on every walker, like Sasha does for you, because Princess doesn't, you gotta be a little more careful. Um, but having two assaults on your team is pretty great for crowd control versus just one, so that's the advantage. Alright guys, hope you enjoyed.